What's up guys, it's your boy KG coming back at you with a new video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let's get into the new content. So as you can see, rolling right here on my screen, we do have Twitter up and College Football Ultimate Team just tweeted out the Ultimate Legends coming into NCAA Football 25 Ultimate Team cut. And we are going to break them down here and kind of go into detail of what each of these are and kind of what we're looking at here. We have Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow is going to be the, what I would guess, LTD or one of the LTDs. 90 overall quarterback, already insane. Uh, throw on the run looks like it's going to be an 89 overall. 85 speed, 90 throw power, 85 short accuracy, 84 medium accuracy, 77 deep accuracy. Now, having all that throw power with no deep accuracy, that's a little bit concerning to me. Um... Tim Tebow is probably my favorite college football athlete of all time. Um, I was That's the reason I became a Denver Broncos fan is Tim Tebow. Am I going to be able to afford this card? I'm not really sure. But at the end of the day, I do feel like this is a very, very good card nonetheless. He is going to be able to outrun most players in the game. He is going to be a lefty though, so you are going to have to get used to that. But the 77 deep accuracy kind of is a little bit concerning to me. I would like to see that be at least in the 80s, but unfortunately it's not. So that does concern me a little bit. I do have the Will Howard right now that I'm currently using. So we will see if I do pick up this card or not. I'm going to guess his price is probably going to be around a mil, um, maybe 800 to a mil, somewhere in there, because Marcus Mariota is about 600K right now. So, and he's better than Marcus Mariota. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So moving on to the next card here, we have Randy Moss. Now, Randy Moss, what a guy. 86 speed, 86 jumping, 85 catching. We do know he is six foot three, six foot four, big bodied receiver. We just did get Mike Evans. I do think Randy Moss is automatically better than Mike Evans. Um, just because of the name Randy Moss, he's going to get animations that Mike Evans doesn't. I would say ability wise, he's probably going to be a little bit better too, but we don't know that yet for sure. 77 short route running, 82 medium route run, 86 deep route run, 85 spectacular catch, 85 catch in traffic, 86 speed, which is the big stat on this card. He's not as fast as Luther Burden, but he is also bigger than Luther. So you got to give it credit where credit's due. This is a very good card. This is probably the LTD um, that we are getting out of the bunch. I do think this will be the best receiver in the game. I don't think it'll be particularly close. Um... And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I think he'll cost probably seven or 800K as well, just because of his name value. So that is the big thing with Randy Moss. Mr. Darrell Revis, man-to-man -man corner. A lot of guys are running the 3-3 double mug right now. So a lot of people are running man at this current moment. So this kind of fits in with the meta of what the game is currently. I do know there's some people like myself who are not necessarily running man every play but we do have zones mixed in and as you can see the zone coverage here isn't doing much for Darrell Revis. I honestly think I would prefer Jalen Ramsey to Darrell Revis but I understand why you would like to have Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis Pitt alum very good card art here I do like it like I said very good man-to-man -man cover cover so if you do run that 3-3 double mug it is a very good card for you 86 press one of the higher presses in the game as well great for playing the outside receiver he could probably guard moss pretty well he's got decent size he could guard mike evans decently well once again has enough speed has good press has good man coverage has good play recognition i do think this is a very good card moving on we have ray lewis in the miami jerseys this right here is the ultimate definition of aura if you don't know what aura means just google it 84 speed 82 excel 84 strength, 85 tackling, 85 hit power, 84 blocks, 83 play rec, and 77 zone. Good speed for a middle linebacker here, especially of Ray Lewis's magnitude. This is probably the best middle linebacker in the game. I would have to say there is another middle linebacker a little bit later on in this list that we can compare him to. But I do think this is definitely better than the Eric Hendricks that they dropped. Or Kendricks, my mistake. Um, I do think he's better than that. Um... Ray Lewis, he's going to be big. He's going to be able to play the middle of the field really well. He's going to be able to pass rush. I personally would put this card on an outside linebacker position 
because I do use her. Guys who are faster, the 88 overalls that came out in the Season 1 promo, um, I use those guys for the time being. Um, they are faster than Ray Lewis, the Colin Oliver, and the Abdul Carter, both faster. So they are better users in my opinion. So I probably will not be getting Ray Lewis unless I get him at middle linebacker. Even then, I think he's still going to cost roughly three, four, five hundred k somewhere in that ballpark. So if you're looking to pick up Ray Lewis, that is probably going to be the price for him. Moving on, we have running back Marshall Falk, 85 overall. Good card here overall. We do have Ollie Gordon. We do have Quinshawn Judds Judkins. So we already have some really good running back options in the game. It is kind of hard for me to say that this card is going to be better than Judkins. But I do think this card has potential to be a budget option of him. Uh, 85 speed, 85 excel, 83 agility, 85 carrying. Most of those things are very, very good. 74 catching, which is pretty good. It's pretty close to what Judkins is. is. I think it's only like one less. So he does have that going for him. He is an elusive back as well, just like Judkins' player type as well. So that makes him pretty good. I do want to say roughly they are the same size. Break tackle, 84. Change direction, 84. Judkins is obviously higher. That's why he is the best running back in the game. I do think Marshall Falk automatically slots in as a top three or four choice. I'm not sure that he's even better than Ollie Gordon, but I do think Marshall Falk is a good option. I think this card's probably going to be roughly 250 to 300 K, give or take a few. But I do think if you want Marshall Falk, he is a very good option for you. The card that I saw that surprised me the most, Pat White Scrambler. We do have an 85 speed, 85 throw power, 83 short accuracy, 81 medium accuracy, 76 deep accuracy, 81 uh, throw under pressure, and 83 throw on the run with 77 play act. I don't really care about the play act, but this card is unbelievable. Um, definitely a budget version of the Tim Tebow. Um, it looks like he is a lefty as well. Played for West Virginia. Um, I don't know that he's going to be better than Will Howard. He is a scrambler, so that is going to be crazy trying to catch at these two cards in particular. They're both going to be fast as crap. Um, Pat White looks really good. I'm excited to use him. This is probably who I'm going to have as my quarterback. I will say the deep accuracy of 76 is going to be rough. Will Howard's is 82, so that is a little rough. But the 85 speed is going to be so much fun to play with. But it's going to be so much harder to stop. I will say that. He is going to be tough to stop, so I am anxious to see how good this Pat White really is. I do think he's going to go for a little bit more. Like I said, I think Tebow's going to be close to a mil. I think this card's probably going to be half of that, a 500, 600K. Around the Mariota range is kind of where I think he's going to land, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. The other middle linebacker on this list is Brian Erlacher, 85 overall. We have him 83 speed, 80 excel, 84 strength, 85 tackle, lots better zone, just one less hit power. I do like Brian Erlacher. He does have the 335 chem. So a lot of people are, like I said previously, running the 335 double mug. So if you do want to use Brian Erlacher as your user in the middle, you can do so. As I said before as well, I am using the outside linebackers from the season one promo. So I will probably not be picking this card up. But if I do, I probably would pick Brian Erlacher over Ray Lewis. Not by a whole lot though. I mean, they're pretty equal cards. I feel like they're going to go for roughly the same price. If you like Brian Erlacher more, pick Brian Erlacher. If you like Ray Lewis more, pick Ray Lewis. Obviously, they're going to have different abilities, different costs of AP probably for different abilities. We're not really sure what abilities these cards have yet. We will find out tomorrow. The content does drop tomorrow, I believe, at 1030 Eastern. So I am pretty excited for that part. We're going to move on to the next guy. Booger McFarlane. 70 speed, 73 excel, 85 strength, 84 tackle, 82 play rec, 86 block shed, 85 power move, 77 finesse move. He's an 85 overall defensive tackle. Um, nothing too standing out here. I like my defensive line to be able to move. I currently use Jonathan Jefferson at defensive tackle just because of his speed. Speed of this game reigns supreme. You have to have speed, and he doesn't have a whole lot of it. But if you guys want to run stopper up the middle, then Booger McFarland is a good option. Or if you just like LSU and you're building an LSU Dean team, that's kind of what Booger McFarland is used for. 
all right and that is the final bit of content that we are have coming tomorrow in cut 25 ultimate team on 7 21 2024 if you guys enjoyed drop a like turn on post notifications and i will see you guys in the next one until next time peace